Hello everyone, I'm delighted to welcome everyone today. My name is Mark Palmer. I'm the head of public sector across Europe for Google Cloud. And today I'm delighted to welcome Simon Stanford Taylor. Simon works for the Office of National Statistics, where he's the Director of Digital Services and Technology. And welcome, Simon. I'm looking forward to speaking to you today. Thanks, Mark. Uh, very glad to be here. So, Simon, I know things have been extremely busy um, over the past few months. Um, every time I turn the TV on, I see data from the Office of National Statistics or the ONS. But before we get to that, perhaps you could just set the scene a little bit for us and describe the role of ONS and the role of technology in particular within the ONS. So uh, my name is Simon Sapper Taylor, and I'm the Director of Digital Services and Technology at ONS. So um, as, as you've said, we see a lot of data now coming from ONS, and ONS is a, an independent body providing data uh, across a wide range of different spectrums, like economy, business, um, population statistics, and various information about communities. And uh, my role is actually to provide the technology for uh, our analysts to work on for intercommunication between other government departments and everything else and software that we then build to help uh, deliver uh, surveys and uh, analytics. Uh, one such thing that's obviously apart from the COVID work we've been doing that's coming up is we're doing the technology for the census next year. 2021. Wow. Um, I guess what strikes me is this, it's probably the scale of the data you collect on behalf of the nation, um, which uh, I mean, data and information is important for all of us. So perhaps you could describe a little more about how the technology is potentially going to be used in the census. Um, I understand you must, if it's next year, probably quite well advanced in that. That's correct. So um, one of the challenges for uh, census is obviously you'll be familiar or may remember when you last filled in the census it was on paper yes. uh, this time around we're trying to do it largely uh, digital although there will be a paper option and what one of the things about the scale of census is um, we're trying to deal with 25 million households um, over a six-week period and so obviously what we want to try and do is find a solution that was uh, able to cope with that kind of volume in such a tight time scale uh, without actually falling over. So uh, it was obviously at the time to us that we would have to do this uh, using a cloud provider and using technologies that were cloud native more than uh, bespoking everything ourselves. So um, what, we, uh, what we did was we looked around and decided that Kubernetes was the basis for our, our build and uh, the Google Cloud suite of tools, including App Engine, were the best provider for us to try and rapidly ramp this up. And what kind of, what you're thinking in looking for those, those kind of tools, what was driving the selection of things like Kubernetes, for example? So uh, uh, initially we started off on um, what we called a multi-cloud approach, which has evolved uh, over time. So early thinking, so back when uh, I started looking at this about uh, four or five years ago, we um, we were under the uh, belief that we would be able to do this on true multi-cloud, which was the same code could run in any cloud and uh, mm -hmm. be able to stop and start the journey um, from one cloud to another. Um, but in, in reality, um, by becoming more and more cloud agnostic, you actually lost the value of all of the point of being on the cloud. So whilst we might be on the cloud for support, we wouldn't have actually been able to um, use any of the underlying features. So uh, we, the, the common base that we'd stuck with was Kubernetes. And the, uh, as my uh, tech guys looked into it, the best supported option at the time that we made the choice and still is, it was the Google Cloud Platform. Obviously, more recently, we've all been locked in our rooms here over this global pandemic over the past three months. Um, your organization, I'm sure, has taken a very central part in reacting. Perhaps you could describe a little bit of the role of how that has played out and particularly how technology has played a role in supporting um, the organization in that. 
By and large, right. ONS is, is fully operational in a virtual environment. So we were lucky that we were mostly laptop analysts anyway, so that made stuff significantly easier. But we did struggle yeah. slightly with um, this kind of call, the video call amongst uh, our colleagues. And um, we had a provision through uh, Google Cloud to use G Suite for our census operations. And we managed to leverage that to roll out uh, just over 5,000 uh, Google Meets uh, to our entire staff. So within uh, another week, we actually had backup video conferencing facilities and full-on broadcast facilities across the office. So that, that was, that's that been uh, well received. And uh, now everyone is used to... Um, uh, Google Meet. Even even when we have to keep saying no, you're on mute. We still have. Um, we, we still have all, uh, everyone it. Yes, the new normal it seems is going to be working from home and using this kind of Google Meet technology to collaborate. How did the cloud actually help you respond to those challenges, Simon? Was it kind of almost like an early dress rehearsal in some ways for what's coming with the census because you had to be very agile and scale very quickly and change ways of working. Was there any, if you look back a little bit, maybe it's too soon to ask you this question, what the lessons learned from that, that kind of quick response into this crisis were? I mean, there's been lots of organizational lessons learned. We managed to move at a, at a much faster rate than we would have previously done. Um, the cloud, without doubt, uh, has made uh, all of this far, far quicker, far more possible um certainly um the use so we have a lot of uh software developers that are on what we call uh off network devices that is uh devices that are, are loosely coupled to our network but don't have the corporate tools that we we would have perhaps provided and um without uh the cloud and the g suite access we wouldn't have been able to keep in touch with our staff and also we always believed on um close collaboration so staff had to work closely together in the office physically and what we've seen is through through these cloud the cloud collaboration tools is that that actually has been a bit debunked as a myth and we've been able to manage working remotely with with the same efficiencies and in fact stand-ups are probably better attended now than they were when they were physically in the office so um it it's certainly the new way of working, I think, for us, and uh, that's a, that's been a key key enabler for us. Okay. Uh, well, one last final question for me, Simon. Perhaps a look to the future. Um, what's the new lens by which you see digital transformation, and how is the this kind of going forward in the light of how the world has changed? Do you think? I mean, I don't like the term "new normal" because that, that's kind of a bit weird. But I think I think the uh, insistence of being office-based, my insistence of us having our physical locations in Newport and Titchfield, our two main offices, uh, will go. And actually we start now recruiting UK-wide, um, remote working, um, using using the tools that we now need um, and we now have, make a work-life balance even better than it was previously. So I think I think that's gonna be, the, the big change. Um, home offices are going to be a big, big thing for people. And I think that's, that's the, the thing we're going to embrace. And hopefully, because of this, uh, the way that everyone now has more connections to technology, whether they, where they wouldn't have previously, when it comes around to do the census, more and more people will opt to take it online. So that's, that's my hope. Well, Simon, thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate you spending the time it's a very fascinating story, and um, I'm looking forward personally to completing the census. Now I know a lot more about the technology behind it. So thank you very much. Thank you as well.